I've got a sphere, a light setup, and a camera. And all I'm gonna do is show you the hyper shade because I have two materials. I have my AI standard surface, and this could be any material that you choose. And then I have my Lambert with my wireframe plugged into the color and set up how I like. And the thing here is you need to take two renders, one of the clay or whatever material you want, one a wireframe, but you gotta make sure not to move the camera. So I have added a camera. It's under create camera, camera. And then with the camera selected, I frame it how I like, and I can press this lock button. That way I just don't accidentally move it. So it's key to have two renders that are exactly the same camera angle. Then you can open this up in Photoshop or Krita. Now Krita is free. That's what I'm in currently. And I have the clay render and then the wireframe render right on top of each other. Uh, the rest is just pretty simple. I can use whatever brush that I want, turn it to erase, and then I'm on my clay render and I can come in here and do whatever kind of cool thing that I want, whether it's with the paintbrush, selection tools, straight lines. I could even do a gradient. So if I wanted to fade from clay to wireframe with the racer on, I use my gradient tool. Now I've got that nice gradient across my model or a very sharp line gradient there. Obviously this is whatever model that you want. It might add a little bit more life, make your renders a little bit more unique.